Much colder nights leave many in the valley struggling to stay warm. Yeah, Channel 5's John Paul Baraja spoke with some people who are getting help heating their homes. With the holiday fast approaching, one of the last things people want to worry about is keeping their families warm. People are in crisis and sometimes they don't even have enough for a heater. Yudi Vargas isn't in a crisis, but money is tight and the colder temperatures aren't making things any easier for her, her mom and her five-year-old girl. Right now she's happy, but at times she gets cold because of the weather. When Vargas found out about the heaters being given away through the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency, she didn't hesitate to come get one. It's a gift she says they really need, but didn't make Santa's list. Community Service Agency Director Jaime Longoria reminds people to qualify, you have to show proof you live in Hidalgo County and be 150% below the federal poverty line. About 44% of the families in Hidalgo County would qualify. What we would basically do is we take their last 30 days of income of the whole household, and then we annualize that over 12 months. If you qualify, you will automatically be put on the CSA's Utility Assistance Program to help you with your electric bill. And the best part, there's no waiting. You can leave their Edinburgh offices with a heater in hand. You know, we, we want to make sure that families uh, don't suffer, you know, through these kinds of situations unnecessarily. Before you leave, employees will go over directions and tips on the heaters, like only plug it into the wall and not an extension cord. Longoria adds they plan on giving out heaters through next week, but you can go to them for assistance year-round. In Edinburgh, John Paul Barajas, Channel 5 News. Well, shelters are open for a cold night like tonight. Anyone seeking to stay warm and also have a safe place to stay during this cold snap, there are these shelters here located across the valley. They have different operating hours and requirements at each location. So we'll have this information uh, at our website, krgv.com, right now. We'll also air this information you're seeing right now throughout the newscast.